go, go, go. All right, everyone. We need to have this written in our notebooks. You need this table right here. Yes, ma'am. Um, Height of the roll. How many levels? Speed. And you'll see that you've got four spaces. Yeah, but Alex said. Um, okay, so why? Focus, 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 focus. Okay. So while we are drawing this chart, I want to ask you who can tell me how do you know when something is kinetic? How do you know when something has kinetic energy? Johanna, for mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you, Johanna, for when something is moving, it must have kinetic energy. Whether we step, step, whether we bend, rise, right? It's got kinetic. How do we know when something is potential? Raise your hand. How do we know when it's potential? Hey, smile. When it's, not, when it's not moving? When it's not moving. Exactly. When it's not moving, it's potential energy. Very good. Okay, so we should have this chart filled out by now. I don't have it. No, no, I have. Very no. good. Dennis has it filled out. Anderson's got it. Height of the roll up here. I think this is last. Speed or S miles per hour. Speed slash miles per hour. That's right. I know my. And then level one, level two, level, level three, three, level, level four. four. And when you guys are done writing that chart, we're going to do a science experiment. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Oh, it's going to be cool. Let's review the learning target for today. Can somebody help? Let's all read this together. Right here, here we go. I can explain how the amount of potential and kinetic energy are related to each other. What does that mean, related to each other? How they're related to each other. Related. Raise your hand, raise your hand. What does it mean how potential and kinetic energy are related to each other? Dennis, what do you think it means? Uh, related? Yeah, something's related. What does it mean, something's related? Together. Together, okay, you're getting there. Something more. Something's related, Deborah, what does it mean? It's kind of like or like Okay, so related like family. Yeah. Okay, so if like family, if I say my cousin is related to me. It's like my sister is related to me. Okay, that's helpful, that's helpful. What, what, what else do we think? We're talking about kinetic and potential energy and how they are related. How they're the same? How they're the same, okay. What do you think, Shane? How their actions and moves are the same and different. Okay, okay, so how their actions um, affect each other, right, in, in, in different ways. That's how they're related. Okay, guys, now when you finish writing this chart, I want you to meet me in the back of the room. We're going to do a science experiment. Understand the relationship. Do I have everyone's attention? Yes. We need to understand the relationship between potential and kinetic energy. So right now, does this, does this ball have potential energy or kinetic energy? Potential. Potential. Potential energy. Does it have kinetic energy now? No. Yes. yes. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to measure the speed of the ball as it comes whoop, from different angles. Now, before we do that, would anyone like to make a hypothesis? Oh, that's a big word. What is that? A hypothesis is when you make a scientific guess. So you make a guess, but it's a scientific guess. Can anyone guess at which number, make a hypothesis, which number is going to give us the most energy to the ball? It's my own. I think four. Why do you think four? Probably because of like the, the highest number of the... I don't okay. Think. He thinks four because it's the highest number. Anybody the else? Uh, Eddie, what do you think? Because it's the it top of it and, the, and um, the, um, it will go down faster once it hits um, one, the energy will run out. Okay, so Eddie says it'll be faster because it's, it, when it starts at four. Shani, what do you think? Oh, Shani thinks... Interesting hypothesis. Shane thinks that it will have the same amount of energy no matter which number it starts from. Well, let's find out. Yes. All right, now, Alex, Erica, uh, Amy, I'm starting to worry. I'm starting to worry that you're going to miss the, the experiment. So, I have to use my phone. Oh. So, I'm going to need a special helper. Who's going to be my helper? Me, 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 Oh, Angel's going to be the one who is going to be in charge of setting the ball at different numbers, okay? And I need somebody 
who is going to catch the ball and, and bring it to Angel. You're on the floor. So you're going to stay down here. You're going to Now, please do not say me, 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 me. The only person who should be saying me, 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 me is an opera singer. <laughs> All right, let's focus, let's focus. No, it's my We're going to do a science experiment. Oh, I'm sorry, pardon me. So I've got my measuring, this is my tool right here. I'm going to measure the speed of the ball with this tool. Okay? And what app? Uh, the app is actually called Speed Gun for Cricket. Oh. So cricket is a, is a sport. They always English blokes like to play cricket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love to play cricket all the time. Um, and you use this to measure the speed of the ball. Okay, so focus, focus, focus. I need scientists to have your observation notes ready. Obs observation notes ready, where are your notes? Observation notes. Angel, please start number one. Okay, so I'm gonna use my phone to take a video of the ball rolling from different spaces. Try to stay focused, my friends. I'm gonna take a video of the ball rolling from different heights. Okay, Angel is the designated ball roller. Johannifer is the designated ball catcher, okay? And I am only gonna be sitting here with my camera filming the speed of the ball. Okay. So give us a number one, Johannifer. Okay, there's number one, here we go. All right, I'll tell you what, would you do number one again for me? All right, now here comes number two. Thank you, Johannifer. Okay. And back up a little bit, Yarn, if you don't mind. There we go. Okay, here's number three. All right. And now number four. Okay, so what I want you to do, now that we've finished our rolls, and we might do it again if we need to, take some notes, make some observations. What did you observe? So we made a hypothesis at first. Some people said, oh, I think the higher it is, the more energy it'll have. Some people said, I don't think it'll make a difference. No matter where it's, the rolls, it'll have the same energy. So what did you observe just now from our little experiment? Make some observations. And meanwhile, I'm going to calculate the data. What's um, the data? The data is... Oh, is this the number data? Yep, that's a fancy way to, put, to say the numbers that we got. So now I'm going to do video analysis. Load the video analysis. I can show you guys what I'm doing. So, Mr. Kim, right now they're doing some observations? Yes, right now you're making some observations. Oh, ow, that hurts. So, what did you notice about the way the ball was moved? So, we're making observations right now, or the observations were made, we're recording the, the information. what I'm doing, after you finish your observation, I'm actually up here measuring the different rolls. So here's the so Mr. Kid, you're using that app, right? I'm using the app right and, now. And now you, you went ahead and put the video into the app? Yep, I put the video into the app, I've, so I went to video analysis, uh, entered the video in there, and now what I'm doing is, and I can actually, let me go ahead and just show, this might be better. I'm entering in the measurements that I got for each one. So these are the miles per hour that we got from each roll. So I'll switch back to show you how I'm doing it. So we're going to make a graph here on the board. The students don't have to do that. You guys don't have to do that. have to make this uh, chart on yours. But here is um, five miles per hour, 10 miles per hour. Oh. Once you've finished entering that in, and I am not joking, everybody should write this down. Angel, have you written down 
Yeah, uh, what's on the board up there? All the speed measurements that I got? And awesome. I measured it. No, no, 6.9. So look at your data. So here's 5 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour, 15, 20. Where's 6.9 going to go? That needs to be next to level 1. Where is 6.9 going to go, Dennis? So we're trying to find 6.9 to plot in that graph. Okay. All right, now who can tell us, can someone come up and show us where the next uh, dot should go for level two? So we're taking the speeds from the chart, from the table, and we are plotting them in this graph, okay? Eddie, come up, show us. 10.2, and make sure that you are gonna come at that height for level two. 10.2 miles per hour. So Eddie, that's not even that's not even an eleven. So it's it's, it's right on ten almost. Almost like at ten. Mm -hmm. And you just need it as high as level two. Like around. Right around the ten. Like between the ten. Would it be before the ten? Or ten point two. We haven't talked much about decimals, but does that, does that sound like it's going to be a little bit more than 10 or a little bit less than 10? A little bit more than 10. 10.2 is a little bit more than 10. Like so around like that. Yeah. But you want to come up high enough for level two. So yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Right there. Let's load. Where's it going to be? Mm -hmm. Something like that. And then, yeah. Level three, perfect is my own. Yes. Level three? Yeah, that's right, go ahead. Four, and then type it on in. Same. Four point seven. Point seven is gonna be a little bit more than 20, yep. Yeah. And you gotta come all the way up here, level four. Yeah, right there, perfect. Wonderful. Say it out loud. I'm going to read this. I want you to think about it and then write your answer underneath your chart, okay? So I'm going to read this out loud. Which conclusion is supported by the data? The data is in your chart. The data is on that wall. Which conclusion is supported by the data? First, the ball had the most energy on roll one. The ball had the least energy on roll four. Dennis, are you paying attention? Because you're going to not know what we're doing here in a second. The ball had less energy on row one than on row two, or the ball had more energy on row two than on row three. So you should be looking in your data. Look at the table you've written down. Look at the chart that we just made on the board and ask yourself, which one of these conclusions is supported by the data? And we'll talk about it when we give you, oh, it's one of them is correct. I chose the ball has less energy, I mean, the ball has less energy on row one than row two. Shani says the ball had less energy on row one, then row two. Raise your hand if you agree with Shane. Based on the data that we have, Jonathan agrees, Eddie agrees, and that's it. So somebody in the classroom chose that their ball had more energy on row two than on row three. But most students chose the ball had less energy on row one than on row two. So we're going to try to make sense of this now. So let's have a look at let's this look at row two. So level two, row two, 10.2 miles per hour. That's how much energy. We were able to measure the speed of the ball, right? 
So it had 10.2 miles per hour worth of energy at level two, right? And then let's take a look. On roll three, whoop, roll three, how much did we have? 14.7 miles per hour worth of energy. So let me ask my friends, Johanna and Dennis, do you think that there was more energy on roll two than on roll three? Here's roll two. Level two was 10.2 miles per hour and level three was 14.7 miles per hour. So I'll ask again, was there more energy on roll two or more energy on roll three? On roll three. Jonathan and Erica yeah. all agreed. Who else agrees with Shane? Look at it, look at it, look at it. What does it say? Because there might be another one that was right. Maybe this isn't right. Look at it. The ball had less energy on roll two, on roll one, excuse me. The ball had less energy on roll one than it did on roll two. Let's look at it. Roll one, 6.9 miles per hour. Roll two, 10.2 miles per hour. Is this conclusion true? Raise your hand if you believe this conclusion is true. The ball had less energy on roll one than on roll two. Only Eddie agrees. Anderson agrees. Think about it. Here's roll two, 10.2 miles per hour. Here's roll one, 6.9. Read it and think about it. The ball had less energy on roll one down here than it did on roll two right here. Right so here. by looking at the ball right here and the speed that it had when it was rolling down, by looking at it here and here and What here. is the relationship between the potential energy and the kinetic energy by looking at those positions? Oh, you, both, you guys both said oh, and then it becomes kinetic. Can I have another example? Go ahead. A crossbow. A crossbow is good. So if we go back to the learning target, what is the relationship between the potential energy and the kinetic energy? We, can, we all came to the conclusion that the more potential, the more kinetic. The less potential, the less kinetic. Right? The ball had more potential energy on number four at the top. And it definitely was going faster when it rolled from there. And there you have it. So thank you, boys and girls. I hope you have a great day. Remember, science is everywhere. Bye-bye.